Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. So let's look into some Pokemon Go goodness. This is for the upcoming possibly brand new season slash possibly going into next year, obviously 2024, which is set to hopefully be very big. I really hope so. Now, this is from Pokemon Group. They're checking on their Twitter page. I still call it Twitter. Anyway, they found some data mining, some possible brand new assets, some brand new Pokemon, some costume Pokemon coming into Pokemon Go. Now, the first one that I've noticed was a few lot Pikachus and Psyducks. I'll put my screen so you can see them now. So another balloon themed po Pikachu, flying flying Pikachu, and there is another one with um, some sort of t-shirt. I don't exactly know what the t-shirt is. I haven't got a clue. And there is also the Sinnoh style hats one with the obviously the Pikachu with Dawn's and and Lucas's hat Pikachu's now we've not these are not new as side we did have them a think a few years back now where you can obviously get them in the game but shinies are available I do not believe we had their shinies last time I could be wrong also possibly guessing for December for the Christmas period once again Pikachu's but this time it was Psyducks obviously and the evolution is Raichu and Golduck maybe with some sort of look by looks a bit Christmassy hats and some scarves on as well as the gold up with Christmas hat and the scarf, which again can all be evolved, which I think is brilliant to see that we can evolve these. Uh, some other update uh, look like we're getting some more Pokemon from Alola and Paldea region by the looks of it as well. Necrozema, which was the. Uh, it, it had two forms. You know, the Sun and Moon sort of a series uh, from Alola, they have like two different, two different forms, like a shadow form where it was sort of locked away in, in this amazing. Life form, and then Zekro Necrozema, Zekro Necrozema, am I pronouncing that correctly? Sorry, was the almost like the third legendary within uh Sogaleo and Lunala. It was the third sort of like, like you had Rayquaza with Groudon and Kyogre, like you had uh, Giratina with Palkia and Dialga. Speaking of which, actually, we've got news about possibly origin forms Dialga and Palkia coming into Pokemon Go as well, which be quite I don't know, I've never been a fan of those. I know they were in introduced into Pokemon Origins, uh, Legends of Arceus, I believe it was called sorry, Pokemon Legends of Arceus. I've never been a big fan of their looks, but that's his personal opinion. I'm not knocking them entirely. Uh, Marshadow, a ghost and fight top Pokemon, I believe, and I was ghost type. Drampa, uh, Mudbray, and Mudsdale. Again, all these Pokemon are from Alola originally. Uh, Pukumuku, uh, again, I think that was from Alola as well, I believe. Also, there's Sea Toddle and Sir Titan. Now, these two. Obviously, base and the evolution again. I believe from Powder your region that is possibly maybe coming again. I think Sid Tuttle and Sea Titan are supposed to be coming within December this year, so who knows? Again, by the time I can say this video up, they probably will be there'll be a brand new update, and I'll be like, Oh, there we go, huge ones coming. Megas, the well, we did get Mega Guard Chomp as our last mega brand new mega Pokemon. There was leaked, it was meant to be Mega Galay, but that didn't happen so. Yeah, bit of a shame. Who knows when that's coming? I'm guessing some point next year. I guess that might have to be something of fighting or maybe psychic type, the psychic spectacular again next year. I mean, that is quite a way away again, but maybe we'll have it before that. Who knows? But possibly, or in co-parmony, Mega Mewtwo X and Y, which, I mean, after the whole Latios and Latios, nightmare to take down. Who knows what these are going to say? These could be the strongest, strongest form, psychic forms in the game. I mean, Mewtwo, especially Shadow Mewtwo, is a monstrous beast at, alone. Alone. So, who knows? The Mega's bringing Mega Metagross again. Really stunning. I tell you what, I must admit, all the shinies absolutely stunning. I love all the shiny forms. Mega Sharpedo. I love Sharpedo. I don't know why. I have a love for this angry, deadly shark Pokemon, but I don't care. And his shiny form is just stunning as well. Mega Marwile, we've not had that. We've had Marwile quite a lot within Pokemon Go. We've got a Shadow Form now. We've had my and it's obviously shiny out, and it has been for a few years now. So surprising, we hadn't had Mega Marwile in Pokemon Go yet, but obviously possibly coming. Mega Ordino, this one's a bit of an odd one for me. Let me wrong. Mega Ordino, I think again a very stunning looking Pokemon. Ordino is a very cool Pokemon. It was strange that it got a Mega. Ordino felt like it was a sort of newer Pokemon that wasn't around for a while, and then suddenly got a Mega Form as opposed to all the other Pokemon that sort of had become fan favorites and had been in generations for a while, got a Mega. But that's just getting personal opinion. Mega camera, Mega camera ups, I actually do. Just one giant volcano. It's so cute and funny. And my all-time favorite. Yes, please, I cannot, but Mega Lucario. 
I love Luc Lucario. It is one of my favorite Pokemon. And honestly, it's mega shiny form as well. Mwah, chef's kiss. I love it. Stunning. The only trouble is I only have one uh, shiny Ryolu. Which kind of sucks, actually. Anyone want to trade? Trade? Anyone? 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 No, okay. And mom. So, possibly these are mega evolutions coming into Pokemon Go in the near future. Who knows? Again, could be from next year, probably... Pokemon Go really need, or not anything, really need to keep Pokemon Go going and keep it fresh. This, these events are brilliant. These are a lot of fun. Yes, bring out brand new shinies is great. But for me, honestly, we've they've already tapped into the current, possibly, and last generation right now, a generation nine. And we kind of, for some reason, skipped over Alola. But I know, hopefully, from next year, I mean, it's been teased our first community it could well be Rowlet. So, um, we might be seeing more uh, Pokemon coming into from Alola. So we can hopefully, if it is all about Alola next year, hopefully, and I'm saying this now, October, the Halloween events, Mimikyu. I really hope we finally get Mimikyu next year. I'm just saying this now. I know it's quite a way away yet. I don't want to wish the way of the year, but I'm just thinking. So, now, as I mentioned as well, uh, Origin from Pial Palkia and the Alga. I, I tell you what, I'm much I'm not a fan of their looks. Their shinies are really good looking. Uh, we possibly get in Raidir. Now, I believe Raidir is a Stanler evolution, but again, it was in Pokemon Origins Legends of Arceus, I believe. Don't. I reckon we'll get that in a uh, raid day, maybe like three star raids, like we've done with Cleavor, like we've done with uh, Hazuian Avalug, those sort of things. Also, the starter Hazuian Pokemon that you could get within a Hazuian Samurott, the Side UI, and Typhlosion. Now, as far as I know of, I'm guessing these could well be stat as they are, possibly once again, maybe in three star raids. Um, as I spoke, because obviously they will have their own base form Pokemon that we've well, all got, really. We've all got these ones. These are obviously Zuyan Samurai, which has obviously evolved from Oshawott evolves all the way up into Samurai. So, I mean, it'd be amazing if we could change form into these final, but I reckon these will be as they are standard in possibly raids. Again, that's just my theory. As Zuyan Decide UI, Decide UI, and Zuyan Typhlosion. Now, I do love Typhlosion. Joe, I really hate. I always love Type Flow. Type, I always love Fire Type Pokemon. I've played. I play the old Game Boy game, Nintendo Game Boy games. Yes, I'm that old. Shut up. Just kidding. Anyway, I'm just. I'm joking. Don't take that. Okay, I'm joking. Anyway, but when they really did numb it, when he had the flames come out, he looked amazing. The same with Kree Lava and Cyndaquil. When they just changed their little uh, sprites and they stopped the flames coming out, just ruined it for me. But that's personal opinion. So some really cool Pokemon coming out again. Something from a day ago, I'm assuming possibly this will be as well. In Tacoma Pokemon Go, Wishy Washy and Wishy Washy School, Solo form and School form. Again, Pokemon from um, the Alola region from Sun and Moon. Really cute, funky little Pokemon that actually comes to collectively comes together in this gigantic fish sort of school form. Now, curious as to obviously, it, weirdly in Sun and Moon, I think it had to get really low health and it would call for help, but then suddenly it's just like this massive beast of a fish. And, I'm not sure how. I mean, the shinies look good. I just don't know how the school form works. As a sh I, I, I'll, I'll question it. Aegis slash now I, we, and uh, blade shield form and blade form. Now that's a very good point because obviously this has like two stage evolutions, and we've not had this in Pokemon Go yet. And I think that's one of the older uh, generations, I believe, that we've had. We haven't had yet. So quite interesting to get this Pokemon in the game, and I'll be quite interested to see what if, any meta it has if it does have any meta in Pokemon Go as well. And also, another all-time favorite of mine, Dusk Form Lycan Rock. I absolutely adore, honestly. I watched the anime, I watched the Moon anime with Ash, and obviously when his rock crop evolved into this brand new form that I don't think was the first time we ever saw a third form of Lycan Rock. And I was just like, I, <laughs> the inner child in me geeked out. I was just like, oh, I want one. Honestly, absolutely. Like the combined form of midday and midnight form Lycan Rock. Oh, honestly, and I still do not have a shiny rock rough in Pokemon Go yet. I've done over 107 now, I think, maybe more than that. Right up, I think I've had encounters like raids and hatch and rock rough, still not shiny. But honestly, if I do get a shiny rock rough, it is that is what it's going to evolve into, hopefully, when it does come into the game. Again, I don't know when any of these, I think that is everything right now, possibly Pokemon wise. The, um, has been possibly data mine, and these are again, this could be possible leaks, this could be potential future things that come into Pokemon Go from. I mean, there's a few more bits coming hopefully this December. 
I possibly would get shiny, kind, kind of logical, kind of, kind of. That's that snowflake Pokemon. I, can't, I mean, I mean, I'm not insulting. It literally is a snowflake. Anyway, um, I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. Amongst other things within Pokemon Go for obviously December and obviously into next year. Now, obviously, we have my have Sinnoh tour next year, so maybe we'll see Origin Forms Palkia and Dialga in the Sinnoh tour. Maybe, and maybe his who knows. Um, obviously, I suppose maybe Arceus is coming into the game. I don't know how that's going to work either. That's going to be very interesting to see how that works when Pokemon goes well. Again, this could be in a Sinnoh tour next year alongside some of the Pokemon that we haven't had got from Sinnoh, like, like the shiny forms, some of the original forms that haven't been shiny just yet. Um, it's going to be a very interesting next year. And obviously, I am generally fairly excited for December coming up. I know it's temperature is getting icy cold now, but I still want to go out and play the game. I still want to enjoy these mini events or these events they're going to bring forward into the game and I really am excited for next year. I, I'm, I am generally excited and if we are actually finally properly getting, I don't know if it's going to be called, I don't know if it will be called Season of Alola again with something weird, but I feel like we are going to get more Alola Pokemon finally in Pokemon Go and we're actually going to stick to that generator instead of skipping over it for some reason because we've kind of done that a bit more. We kind of skipped over like, we had like, Galar Pokemon then we kind of skipped over Alola then we had, and then we got Paldea, and then it was like, well, wait, hang on, wait, what about, you know, what about, you know, what about um, Alola? There's still, I mean, we were getting, we had that season of Alola, and it was a bit mm, so-so. And then we got, I mean, we've had certain Pokemon from the Alola region being released into the game. Like, oh, by the way, here's no, like, Togo Tomorrow, or here's um, Oregaru, and then here's the Pan, Pan Passamian. You know, there's Pokemon, oh, um, Bruxish. I'm like, don't get me wrong, I enjoy having brand new Pokemon in the game. It makes it more interesting, makes it more fun to go out and catch these brand new Pokemon. But at the same time, though, when you just throw them out like, oh, here, 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 it just, like, well, there's no consistent pattern. And this is my thoughts in this, by the way, that, you know, there's no consistent pattern with, like, the sea like Pokemon being released. Like, again, skipping over almost we're on the final generation currently, and then there's other generations that we've not completed yet for our Pokedexes. You just got a bit, whoa, whoa, slow down a minute. Because if you run it, if we, honestly, you got, like, yes, keep it interesting, keep it fun, keep the game going, obviously, but make sure we're not going to run out of, obviously, Pokemon being released, releasing the Shinies is great. Having, like, different variant version forms, like having Hizuian Pokemon, that's great as well. Having these origin form ones, like these legendary raids, or these other, like, ones that we've not had yet, like Arceus, or these other, um, other mythical Pokemon we've not been released yet. Great, keep that up, yes. Don't like jump, don't run before you can walk. Like, you know, the Pokemon Go has been around for almost seven, going almost into the eighth year now. Well, some point next year, obviously. But keep it interesting, keep it fresh, keep it interesting, keep it enjoyable for those that still play it. Like, I don't know how long Pokemon Go is going to keep going. I know there's a new route system, which is very much a Pokemon Go thing, and it's a bit. Ugh. The new party play feature, again, it's a bit. I know routes more so for the sake of getting Zygarde, so for Zygarde. I'm get slowly getting there, by the way. I am slowly getting there, getting the uh, cells from my Zygarde cube. Who knows in the near future? I would love, to, again, I, I absolutely adore. One of my, one of my favorite legendary Pokemon, first is 100% uh, or complete form. I love it. Um, again, though, I, I, the, I, party play for me is a bit of fun. I enjoy playing, with, you know, being able to play with friends. My God, I've got Pokemon friends out here. Um, you know, and it's good fun, you know, but it's just, the rewards, at least the, uh, for your time, is a bit boring. Not I say, but they're not very great. Like, you could do 50 great throws and get, like, three Pokeballs. I could spin a Pokestop and get, like, six or eight Pokeballs. I'm just saying, you know, the rewards are a bit not that great. But again, I am enjoying like, the fact that they are trying to keep the game fresh. And I appreciate that from Niantic and possibly possible leaks. Now, we've had a lot of leaks especially this year, that have come full attrition, come true. Again, Mega Glade was not one of them, sadly. It is what it is. Again, we can see that at some point next year. Who knows? There are plenty of Mega, there's, plenty of, there's a few more Mega Pokemon to come. There's obviously more legendaries, more mythicals, more forms. You know, this. so I'm hoping, keep that consistency and keep fun and keep you know, trying some fun events. And hopefully, if they're going to do some costume Pokemon, they can evolve, please, game. Anyway, I'll leave you off with this. Let me know if you're excited for the December coming up for next year. Honestly, I'm hoping very, very soon we do get an actual infographic and some more information on exactly what is going to happen. So I'm super excited. This is a bit of just, just general chit-chat and just thoughts. Hey, let me know as well. Let me know. 
what are your thoughts of the upcoming possibility? Are these, you reckon these Pokemon are going to come into the game? Are you excited for those? Are you excited, for, especially for Mewtwo's in there? I dread to think how many people we're going to need to either take it down, but I cannot wait. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. So, keep it like this, keep it fresh, keep the excitement of like the same Pokemon, or like legendaries, and obviously getting the shinies. Then, yeah, I'm all for it. So, yeah, again, let me know what you think about it. Are you excited for next year? Are you still, are you still interested in the game? Because I certainly am, and I would love to make videos on these things and keep it exciting, keep it fresh as well, and keep having fun, enjoying that, making these adventures. So, anyway, that's all from us, obviously, and we will obviously catch you in a new adventure or next adventure.